everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, do we have a quorum? Yes, I think so. Do oh, we? How many are on? 10, I think, is what it says. Okay. Yes, I think we're okay. Um, and so we're going to call the meeting to order. And Susan, can you take the roll, please? Yes, I will. Robert Blank? He's uh, at NCTD listening. Oh, hi, Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, Walter Bredo? Here. Kathy Clark? Here. Bill DeMeo? He's here. Melanie DeCanthalus? <laughs> Melanie? Joe Dubin? Here. Diane Durant? Here. Michael Fox? Eileen, you're here? Yep. I'm here. Gail Kelly? Anna Kubish? Uh, Kathy Mickett Piambo, uh, Gerald Nagel, Allison Mankey, she's excused. Nancy Mankey, here. Uh, Max Turjan, he's excused. We have nine. Okay, that's half, right? Cut your hair. Look cute. I like it. <laughs> no, thank you. It's good. Okay. Um, I, I just want to tell you, I talked to Kathy uh, Mickett Piambo yes. a little while ago, and she's going to send an email to James. Okay. Beautiful. Resigning. Perfect. Okay. Um, did anybody get a chance to read the minutes? And could we make a motion there, please? Anybody read the minutes? Sorry, no. I, I don't recall receiving any. Um, they were emailed. No, when? The I didn't get them. Let's uh, I, I didn't get them as, as a separate thing. I didn't get them at all. Yeah, I've never gotten minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I did get them this time, but, um, we'll have to work on that for the next time around. We'll make sure they get sent out separately or something. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Do you, Susan, do you remember how they came? I, I think I, I think that they're that people just receive them um, through the through the town when the town posts them. Do people get their their email the minutes that way? Maybe I got them in an email from you. No, no, I don't know. I don't remember how I got them, but I know. All right, well, we'll have to work on that one. Okay, okay. moving on. Okay, is there anybody here from the public? I don't think so, right? No, I just checked the attendees. I don't see anyone. Okay, perfect. All right, moving on again. Okay, we can skip this because there was no public participation. Oh, I like this nice and quick. Uh, I don't think we've had any correspondence unless anybody else got some. No. Okay, all right, moving on. Consideration of old business, okay. Um, random acts of kindness, I spoke with Max and um, the new idea he would like to go forward with is that at the extravaganza, we purchased some of those flat kind of foamy hearts and put a little ribbon on them and somebody can put a name of a person or a random act of kindness that person does. And maybe if it's okay with Bill, we could put them on a little tree in the park or on the fence or something like that, just as a, a little acknowledgement of something that was a positive act of kindness. Does that work? Um, Does that work, Bill? Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. We can just okay. work out the details. Yeah. All right. I'll be in touch. Um, okay. So yep. that's where that that was going to go. We're, I guess we're going to be branching out. Go ahead, Bill. I guess we'll be branching out then with that with that idea. Ha ha ha. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Oh, dad jokes. Um, <laughs> okay. And um, blood drive. We don't really have to work on that yet, right? It's still got a ways to go. Yeah, yeah. I heard I heard from the woman. Um, well, she sent an email, um, you know, knowing that I'm the, um, I'm the person that that's taking it over. I sent her my number and everything, and I haven't heard back yet, but it's a ways off. I'm sure they're busy with other blood drives. Okay, so we're good. 
All right, restock the shelves, the spring of 2021. I think we need to change that to the summer, fall of 2021. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, I have not, I, I did not get a hold of Stop and Shop. I will do that um, and I will have the information for the next meeting. Okay, perfect. Um, Indian Hill outing. Um, I talked to Max. He has some details in the works and we're going to hook up tomorrow and hash that out. So um, that's that. That'll, that'll work on. Um, and the wreath by the falls. Um, I went to the falls the other day to measure last week, I guess, to measure the um, bridge to see how big of a wreath that there could be. But the uh -huh. thing that I noticed that I thought was a little odd was that when you stand um, like at the street, you can't really see the top of the falls, like the top of the the bridge, the the side of the bridge right now because the trees are big. So I, I don't know. Bill, do they trim those ever? Um, we do trim trees. I don't know if we, how often we trim around the falls. Yeah. Uh, but you could see it from down below, right? From the. Yeah. So you're standing down below, but like from the, from the road, there's, there's something that's coming. I guess if you were looking at the waterfall, probably from the right, some big branches of some tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but, um, I got to take a look again and see if, if it's, um, it's not going to be visible, like driving by. And I don't know if there's a better idea of someplace else that we could hang it, or maybe we could hang it on the other side so that people in the park could see it. Uh, but then it's not lighted at night. So I don't know. We got to think about that one. That, that was having me puzzled. So I just thought I would pause and think about it. Um, how, about, how about on the fence when you're coming down Mazzicoli Way uh, from the town hall or library, the fence right? As soon as you, you know, looking straight ahead, kind of where that new preschool playground is, would that be of that would be pretty visible to everybody? Yeah, are, are people going to get um, upset about things hanging on the fence, especially this time of year? You know, well, we have sign, we have a big problem with signs, but I think wreaths, yeah. you know, one wreath for the 150th is kind of a once in a every 150 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are on a roll tonight. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me let me take a ride by there and see what we think. See, we'll, we'll figure something out. It'll it'll work out. Will it say 150th on it if they see the wreath? I don't know. OK, I, like I, sometimes like a ribbon, you know, kind of like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just I didn't want it to look like a funeral piece. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it it <laughs> does start to look like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I was worried about is I didn't want it to, to seem like a, um, hmm. a funeral thing. But um I don't know. I, and, you know, we have those, we have a, a large um, lawn sign that probably has holes in the top that we could put on the fence there, actually. You know what I mean? It's the yep. large, well, I don't know how big it is, but it's big and it would fit on the Four fence. By eight. Yeah, probably, probably would look nice there, but um, I'll have to look and see if it has the grommets in the top. I'm not hundred percent sure. If not, I'm sure that um, Jeff could put them in. It wouldn't be a big deal. Is right. there anywhere in the center of town, like, you know, on Main Street that it could be put? Hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. yeah. Our signs are not the right size to go in the sign holders. You know, the, the one that's on the green or one that's on the, um, on CVS, but mm -hmm. we might be able to make one. I don't know. Well, so are, those, are those spoken for already? Well, you know, you sign up for two, you know, one or two weeks at a time. So I don't know exactly off the top of my head. I know it's through Ju June. It's they're both booked. Yeah. Uh, well, actually through July. I know through the extravaganza because I was looking through it. We couldn't even get our sign on for the extravaganza. It was <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. But so, yeah, but I mean, like say August, September, I'm sure there's some open times. Those are four by eight. Jeff makes them. I think he charges around one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, he's expensive sometimes. Um, yeah, mm. but you know they last forever. That chloroplast is pretty good. Yeah, but you could you save it for another the next hundred fifty. I was going to say, well, who's going to use it again? <laughs> <laughs> A little tough. But, um, all right, we'll think about that one and see if we can come up with a better place to um. Well, you know, what you could do, you could use that in front of you as a, a front of your table for the life being it booth that you have yeah. or, be, or behind you. If you have a 10 oh, by yeah. 10 tent. Yeah. That's where we, 
what we got it for originally was for the booth. Um, oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. we could do it, you know, for something to do after the extravaganza to use it. That would that would be a good place. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, we'll think on this one a little. Hey, hey, I got an idea. How about somewhere in the new town hall? You know, you hang a 150th wreath inside the new town hall. That would be quite nice, I think. Right over 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 yep. a doorway. Yep. I I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't know where I have been in except. Yeah. One. No, I I'm you know? not good at it either. <laughs> but but I think it's it's it might have some merit there. Where's um, is the the front door is considered what's across from the library, right? No, that's yeah. the back. It, the 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 that's main the back entrance, of the building. The main entrance is from the police. The you know, kind of on the the west end of the building. Uh, down below where the police department is. Well, yes. you go up fifteen stairs, and then you're on a, a top level parking lot, and that's the door to the main to the town hall. Oh, hmm. yeah. I went there for the first time today. I, I'm raising, I'm raising my hand, but I thought it was confusing because I had only like handed envelopes at the top entrance, which is the second floor. And when right. you go in there by mistake, which is what I did today, you really <laughs> don't know where you are other than the offices that you want are on a tiny little paper list stuck to the wall. <laughs> and then I thought, well, this must be the second floor. And I went downstairs. It's not very clear, I will say. So um, yeah, you need to the, leave breadcrumbs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The downstairs, though, when you walk in, it, it's quite attractive, but it kind of looks like you're at a racetrack and there's the bedding windows um, <laughs> on either side. It's quite attractive. But I think the just speaking again, I just went there for the first time myself. But I think that when I say the trouble is as far as having a wreath or something as a central thing, it doesn't, my opinion is it wouldn't really work in there because all of the offices that you used to have to go down halls and find, they're all in there with each one has their window on either side. So I don't think there's much reason to go to the end of the group of windows. You're going to find what you want on either your right or your left. So, yeah, you, got, you know, take a peek at it. It's, it's a pretty interesting design and very functional for going in there. But as far as a wreath, if it was at the way end of the very last window on whatever that door goes into, and I guess from what Bill's saying, that door goes to the next flight of stairs. I don't know how many people would be going there because they should be able to finish their business, I would think, against all those windows. So where... Where's Hello? the manager in the, in the um, mayor's office? On the second floor? Yes. Yep. Okay. So I think if you keep going, that was Kathy talking, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So Kathy, if you keep going from the main doors on the right hand side, all the way at the end is the town council and board of education combination rooms. Yeah. Um, you might be able to find the place like say over the mayor speaking, you know, where wherever the mayor speaks or sits. And that's only when they go back to in-person meetings too. So that's an if, big if. Um, yeah. You, you could put it on a wall above the mayor and that, or above the chairman of chairperson of the board of ed and that kind of, I think it and would they look, look like they cool. have a halo, right? <laughs> <laughs> like an angel. Well, I think yeah. that's an in interesting idea, Bill, both, mostly because if we're still going to be doing Zoom for the next few months, maybe have something that, I'm not saying smaller or larger, but if the point is to highlight the 150th on future Zoom meetings, to have something that would be behind mm. the main speaker. I, I, yeah. I don't know how that works, but. I, um, okay. Uh, All right. We'll work on that. Um, right. Through the minutes, by the way, for the May 6th. Uh, meeting. If you if you uh, want me to display them on the screen, I can do that. Or if you want to send those out to everyone. Oh, if you would just email them to everyone, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we'll work on the rethink, and next um, we could skip the treasurer's report because Allison is not here. Um, I think it's the same as last month, except I put down a two hundred dollar deposit at Indian Hill. Um, other than that, I think our expenses are pretty flat. So we could skip that. Okay. 
the history walk, uh, a couple things. Um, it's going to be on NCTV. Robert Blank told me it's um, pretty set and ready to go. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, Geraldine told me she has a, a flash drive of it all. Um, I don't know if you're here, Geraldine, but if you are. Um, she, excuse she's me. having a hard time getting on. She texted me. So I don't know what's Oh, happening. I've been texting her saying, try this, try that. But I delivered the flash drives today um, to the last few people. So the 90, there's like 90 photos, most of which were by Ben Jordan. And uh, the first 23 on the flash drive were actually designed to go to um, uh, Newington Life, which did not, right, did not take advantage of it. Um, but what we did was we, so the cool thing is, is if you if you see the flash drive content somewhere, the first 23 were set up so that they would have made a nice spread in a publication. So they, we tried to represent all of the different uh, entities, including um, uh, people there, but we had to limit it to people who were identified in the photos since those are the rules for a publication. So the first 23 pictures all have captions and descriptions. And then the next, I don't know, 80 or 90 are just all the rest of um, Ben Jordan's pictures. But they were distributed to the Historical Society, the library, um, James, the town clerk, uh, and the part, uh, Mrs., Mrs. White, who get, let us have her house, uh, Joe Demers, I'm going to say so. In other words, they're on in the possession of town um, of the town, and James is going to put them in a place where they will live for a thousand years. Okay. He said. He said flash drives wear out. He's putting them on archival something, and they will be around for a thousand years. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, you you talked about a booklet. Would a shutterfly? Would it make sense to throw twenty three or fifty pictures on a shutterfly book and have it made and then? Yeah, my, my intention is to have something made when we're all done so that we can put together one source oh. that would be a one book that would put them all together and, uh, you know, present it to the town or the historical society or whoever. And then well, that would be good. Using Shutterfly would be is a good idea. Yeah. So that way we could get it all done, you know, save them all, get it all done when, when you know, put a whole book together of the things that we've done. And that'll be our memento or... This yeah, is legacy. Yep. Down. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Explore Newington was not a great hit. I have a few responses here. Apparently there's one at the Parks and Rec office. Um, I'm not going to need to buy that many prizes, but um, so we will <laughs> notify the winners and um, present them with their gift certificate probably at the concert next week, if that's okay, Bill. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's that's the crazy one. That's going to be our first concert for St. Patrick's Day party in the park. But yeah, that'd be great. Okay. okay. Uh, winners. Okay. Sorry, I was taking notes. All right. Um, the mayor's ball or the whatever we're going to call it, the 150th anniversary ball is going to be, we picked a date of 1023 and it's going to be at Indian Hill. Um, they said short of 200 people. Um we don't really have to do much except buy some decorations and get a, a DJ. Um, we will be picking a, a menu soon. We don't have to rush with that one. She wasn't really too worried. We'll be able to use the patio. Um, if we want to use that other room on the side, when you walk in on the right-hand side, I think she told me it was like $700 more or something like that, which we'll have to see what we have for money. If we have money and we want to do anything like, um, you know, a photo booth or anything like that, that would be fun. That would be an extra. It would have to go in there. I think I'm going to, um, I don't know what you guys think. I thought I would put out some things on, um, that. Hmm. I can't remember the name of the Facebook page. It's like free 99 <laughs> Newington, whatever people give away things for free. So I was thinking about asking if there was anybody there who wanted to, um, donate pumpkins or donate um, centerpieces or whatever, things that we could decorate with. I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if we could put some pumpkins outside that were carved to say 150 or something, put some lights in them. Not that, you know, anybody's going to see them coming in, but coming out they could, or we could face them 
toward the inside. So as it got dark, they could see them. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but if we could find somebody to, to donate the centerpieces, that would be a little bit of money that would save us. Um, and if anybody has a connection, I think Mel said she had a connection with a DJ that we were going to check into. So that was a little work we did over the month. So that should be, that should be taken care of pretty much. Um, can I just confirm is this is a new date for the ball? Yes. Yes. This okay. was the last time they had available. So right. that, and it's a, it's a new date for the ball and it's at Indian Hill. Is that yes. correct now? This is news to me. So it's news to everyone. Um, okay. Just we, making sure I didn't miss something. Yes. We checked in with some local caterers and there was really nobody that was incredibly confident that they could handle such a large crowd. So um, except for Casamia, and if we're going to use them, we decided that in order to keep with the request of the committee that they wanted something a little more fancy, that we should have it at Indian Hill. So that's what we decided to do. And so the 23rd it is. It was almost About, to be the 30th. Mm -hmm. That would have been crazy. What? Do we know what time it's going to start? No. Uh, no, I do we know? It's going to be in the evening. Yes, evening. It's a, um, I think five hours, five hours, five hours, six to 11, I think is what it is. Six, seven, eight, nine, hmm. ten. Yeah, I think it's six to 11. Um, probably be, I, I know it'll be cash bar um, and buffet. Oh, buffet. Okay. Yeah. That's all we can afford. <laughs> so you haven't come up with like a pricing or anything yet? No, because we need to know like what we need to spend on a DJ um, mm -hmm. and what we need to spend on um, probably like favors or um, centerpieces. We got to come up with, you know, a, a little price arrangement, but we're, I, I would really like to try to keep it as low as possible so that it's not prohibitive for people to come. Right. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know what people think, you know, if we call it a mayor, I, I don't think we can call it the mayor's ball, especially because it's very close to the election. I, you know, I, thought we, I think we decided we, want, we wanted to call it the 150th anniversary yeah, celebration ball. ball or something yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. And then the next question I'm sure that everyone is going to want to know is what are people wearing? Um, and if we call it a ball, do you have to buy a ball gown or can you show up in something like you'd wear to a wedding or, you know, are we talking suit and tie? I know that like you, you have to wear a college shirt when you go up there anyway, general gentlemen do. Um, so I, I don't know what you guys think of in terms of that. I, I mean, we could put down um, dress to impress and people could wear whatever they want. Um, I think that's probably what's going to happen regardless of what we say, but um, I don't know how fancy anybody was thinking. Anybody have any thoughts? I, okay. hmm. Susan? No. I really hadn't thought about it. Yeah. Well, we'll be at a wedding that day. I don't even know if we'll be able to make it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. Allison told us. Yeah, Tim's but Allison brother, said, Tim's oh. brother's getting married. Ah, oh. I thought that was yeah. early in the day or something. Allison told us. After. Well, it is at noon, but. You'd be all partied out. You're just going to no, party all night and all day. We'll be all dressed up. There you that's go. it. You'll be One ready to go. Meal. Got your wedding clothes on. You're good to go. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, and even if it starts at six, it's like nobody's going to be eating dinner till you know a while, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, you monkeys would be half the people there. You can't not come. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so we don't have to set a dress code yet. We have to like before we put out an invitation or anything, um, we have to like come up with a price schedule and we can meet this month and, and kind of hash that out a little better, especially once we have a DJ book that will, that will tell. Um, all right. So for the extravaganza, Mel, are you here yet or not at all? Or I don't know. What day is the extravaganza? The 17th, July 17th. Okay. Thank you. You're I welcome. Think, I don't think Mel's here. Is Mel here? No. Okay. So Mel is in here. So I don't know about um, if she ordered the the coins um, or the lapel pins, but that was something that we thought we would sell. We have 
um, some raffle tickets for the painting and the um, quilt. Um, we're gonna need a tent and a table. Um, if anybody has one, speak now, please. Yeah, I can, we have them, a tent and a table. Okay, that would be great. Probably two tables, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, okay, perfect. So, um, Eileen, yes? are we are we going to try to sell the um our po you know our po our stick in the ground posters? Sure. Yep. I think I really do think people would buy them. I hope so. If we put them in their faces and really promote them. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great thing. So we we have um the the quilt we have the painting we have the kindness little hearts that we can put around the, on on a tree somewhere and um we would have either the lapel pins or the coins one or the other i i don't think we want to sell both maybe one of them we could save as a, a gift for or coming you know as a put by your fork on the table um at the at the ball at the dance, at the whatever we're going to call this thing. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, I think we're, we have some good ideas about what we can do there and make a little extra money. So th that would be, that would be great. Um, uh, do we have anybody that wants to volunteer to work um, at the extravaganza? I will. Okay. I can work. Okay. I Thank can. You. Thank you. Um, Nancy, Joe, Susan. Okay, me. All right. Um, we're probably going to need some more people than that. So I, I hope that, you know, as the day gets closer and your calendars are a little more set that, you know, people could volunteer to, to help out because it's a long day in the sun sometimes. Um, can, I, can I ask a question, Eileen? Yes. I'm sorry. What are the hours? Uh, Bill, what do you got to get there by nine? Yeah, I think we open... 8 to 9.30, I believe, and you have to get out of there, and we start 10 to 4. Okay. So 8 okay. to 9.30 is set up, and then 10 to 4. Um, I'll send a, a notice out. Um, mm, it's June, this month. Um, as we get a little closer to, to see, uh, I'll, I'll send a Google Doc out, so hopefully people can fill in their names and um, put, put some time in. We could use some help. That would be great. Okay. Are they having fireworks that night? No. Big no. ones. Big ones. Oh, good. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. So that'll be fun. Something to look forward to. Um, okay. And then um, the last thing that was um, new business was about doing something for kids. Um, Diane had her hand raised. I don't know if it was something about the extravagance. Okay. Go ahead, Diane. I'm sorry. I missed I was gonna, yeah, no, I was going to mention, I don't know if they designed the coin shed or not, but I had the, on the hundredth uh, anniversary coins, they had, you know, the town had a logo with the falls on one side. And then on the back, they had um, historic Willard Avenue bridge with the centennial name and the years. I don't know if you can see it by holding oh. it. Look at you, huh? You're, that must have been your dad's? Yeah, so they had committee members received bronze coins and then they sold silver coins for the general public and so forth. So this one happens to be the bronze one. So that was the back. And yeah. then this is the front. That's huh. really cool. If you get a chance, can you take a picture of that and send it to Mel? Because she was in charge of designing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's very cool. Yeah. So have a few of those. Not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I have them. I might mail a box to the historic committee sometime with a hundredth anniversary stuff, but. Uh, very neat. Very good. That's cool. Very nice. Thank you. Um, so that those are, I think people will like them. I think that's going to be something that's just whatever you put it in your jewelry box and find it and say, Hey, look at this cool thing. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I think it's a big thing for certain people like, like firemen have coins like that, that they keep in their pockets to just, I don't know if they play with them or what they, it's supposed to be a good luck kind of thing. Um, I learned that. Um, okay. 
So um, the the last thing that I was thinking about was um, in the very start, we talked about maybe doing something for kids and we haven't come up with an idea for kids. Um, and I didn't know, um, Bill, is it too, or hmm, are we COVID friendly, unfriendly enough, whatever? <laughs> are we clear of COVID enough that we could do something with the National Guard with their blow up things? Um, I would think so. Yeah. Okay. So if we like, maybe, I don't know how much room there is in the park. So I, I, I was kind of wondering if, if they brought their, um, blow up things, some concert night, because that way their parents would be there for the concert anyway, and the kids could come and do the blow up things. Or do you think that's too much noise with, the um, with the bands going on? No, if you, you know where the cornhole is done. If you're yeah. standing at the stage looking at cornhole to the left, to the right, where Lester used to live, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That space is all opened, uh, open there. And there's electricity back there, or something. Well, they bring generators, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. They would okay. bring. No, I, I think they'd bring a generator. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So I'll call the guy and ask about that, and and I'll clear with you about a date, um, because that's free. So we like free. Um, yeah. And the other thing, June, I would June 22nd is the off the top of my head. June 22nd is the ADA celebration concert. So I'd stay away July yeah. 22nd. I mean, OK. And uh, probably not till August, I would think. Uh, well, I well. think there's only going to be one week in August, one or two weeks. So, yeah, uh, go early August if you're going to do it then. OK. I'll, I'll check that with you. I, I have to call and see when they're available. And then I was wondering if um, I saw some other community was selling like um, box dinners to come to a concert, you know, so like if we went to Five and Dime and had to make some box chicken dinners that people could pick up at the park and eat their box chicken dinner while they were watching the concert. Um, I thought that'd be kind of cool, kind of a fun thing to do, something different. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, that sounds um, good. And I, I was thinking it would be nice to give them some business because they've been so good to our town through COVID. Um, uh, but we'd have to set that up online somehow. We'll have to talk to Mel. She's the guru with all that crap, not me. Yeah, um, all the yeah. restaurants. Yeah. All the restaurants downtown, you know, anything you could do for them it would yeah. certainly be welcomed. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, you know, a box, a box, something, if, if they can't do it, I would think, Maybe TJ's could. They kind of seem to have more of that sandwichy kind of, um, you know, menu. Roosters doesn't really have a sandwichy kind of menu, but um, Steve's place might do it. Yeah, yeah, something. Subway, Subway. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But I thought it would be kind of a fun thing to do. Um, but I'll check with them. You no, know uh, you know what might be cool is getting a. a there's that new pizza place, Vino, Vin, Vinny's, Vinny, Vino's, and Stop and Shop Plaza. Um. They took over Max Five Pizza, or there's a new ben pizza place. Yeah, there's yeah, a new ben pizza place. They yeah. could, you know, you could order, you know, ten pizzas, have them delivered, and each kid gets one slice or two slices or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I just tried. Or, that one. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. I tried the new one by Starbucks. It was pretty good. We yeah, good. Yeah, not bad. The other thing is too. Remember the concession stand too if you know maybe we could make a deal where instead of it's three dollars for an ice cream soft ice cream cone make it you know a dollar fifty or something and mm -hmm. give kids that or give them free whatever you you know whatever you yeah. wanted to spend yeah okay yeah. all right well we'll work something out with that and i'll i'll find a date and um call what's the guy's name general Ivan. that's his name i think so. francis francis yeah um and uh, see if we can pick out a date that we could do that. Cause those are pretty cool. They have fun. The kids really like them. And if it was, you know, free or whatever, can't go wrong. It's just a nice little family event and it's not caught, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. And if we want to push the dinners and people want to buy them great. And if they don't, you pre-order, yeah. you get them. If you don't, you don't. So you didn't, you didn't lose anything. Just make right. sure they have insurance for a million dollars or more naming the town of Newington as additionally insured. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff is big on that. You know, Jeff Barron for Who the inflatables. Oh, the the um National Guard. The National Guard. Oh, yeah. Man. I thought you were talking about the restaurant. I'm like, 
Oh, oh no, no. Somebody no, chokes no. on their chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the inflatables. Okay. Yeah. National Guard, they have to have how much insurance? A million? A minimum, minimum, a minimum of a million, yep. Yeah. And name the town of Newington as additionally insured. Good Lord. Well, they come it, to it, high school, so I'm imagining it must have passed. Yeah, in it's, in it's not that. Yeah, it's not that big yeah. a deal. Yeah. yeah, they haven't been this year because of COVID, but in the past, and the kids, the kids just love it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll work on that for something to do in August and uh, move on from there. Okay. Do we have anything else on our agenda here? Anybody else have anything to add? Oh, Bill, you sent me an email yesterday, something about a flag that I didn't quite understand. What were you thinking? Oh, I, I took back that idea. I, I, okay. thought, <laughs> I thought you guys could have flags everywhere downtown for, you know, we're celebrating our 150th anniversary. But then I said, what good is that? It's only going to, the lifespan is only six months or another five months, whatever it is. Right. And right. I don't think that's worth the investment. So I take, right. take that stupid idea back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anybody else have anything to add? Okay. So the only thing that I have to leave you with is we have to work on making sure we have the coins for the um, extravaganza. And um, I'll be sending out a Google Doc with um, slots to fill in. If you can volunteer, that'd be great because otherwise it's going to be a long day for some of us. Um, but thanks for coming. Have a good day. If you make, think of anything make, else that we make, need to know. Yes. Make sure you work with Hadil and take out an application for a booth at the extravaganza. Yeah, yeah. I know she's mapping it out now. Oh, okay. All right. I'm a little slow. Okay. Um, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? Oh, we make a motion to adjourn. Second. Adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 All righty. Thank you so much. Have a good day. See ya. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.